Next, I'd like to introduce Deputy Leader of the Green Party of Ontario, Ashley Clancy. Ashley? And she, she tells me that her name, her first name is Gaelic, so I was checking to make sure I pronounced it right. Did I get it right? You did. All right, welcome. <laughs> good moment in time. We're working on equity, so I get my name pronounced right. It's a beautiful moment. Thank you, Claudette and Doris, and to all of you here. Um, I think the character of the Registered Nurses Association of Ontario is really alive and well here today. Um, thank you I, on behalf of the Green Party and Mike Schreiner, our leader, for inviting us to share this with you. Um, I am the daughter of a nurse. I don't think I fully appreciated what it was like. <laughs> Growing up with a nurse as a mom, when you're a kid, you're kind of oblivious and you just kind of like bop about your business. But when I reflect back on those years of her being gone at Christmas or carrying uh, heavy stories of, uh, of somebody struggling with things she couldn't necessarily fix or hard lives or tragedies. She was in labor and delivery, so she really specialized in supporting moms who lost their babies. And so I know that when we look at the nurses in this room, we see so many specialists. Like there is not one nurse that compares to another nurse and nurse practitioner. There's so many people in this room. I see doctors and leaders and specialists in so many walks of nursing and looking at healthcare from many angles. Uh, so as, as that daughter, I know she had to leave the profession kind of in a moment where uh, we know with these shortages, she was getting switched over to psychiatry because they were, she, they didn't need her as much in labor and delivery and she was worried she would compromise someone's health. So she had to walk away in that moment. And I hope nobody else has to leave under those circumstances because it really was her calling, her purpose. And she was one of those wise leaders that I know we have so many in this room, but we still need you to mentor the young people coming up and starting out in the profession, the students here, that there's nothing like having a good mentor. As a social worker, I look to my elders in the profession uh, to teach and guide me and help me troubleshoot those really complicated experiences because there are so many right now. Um, as a politician and as a, as a social worker, we know that uh, the poison drug uh, epidemic is really serious and you have to face that all the time. Uh, in my riding and many, we see more and more people on low incomes being forced from their rental properties illegally or because they can't pay rent and they end up on your doorsteps. And uh, I talked to Doris, she was kind to kind of uh, remind me of the social determinants of health that you face every day. We want to work on prevention and not just fight these fires because I'm sure you're very tired. And so I do hope that we can, we can work together. We can celebrate some of the achievements of the investments in staffing and new students and the expanded um, prescribing abilities. You know, nurses want challenges all throughout their career. So thank you to this government for that. Uh, but we know that, um, unfortunately, I was just on the housing committee meeting and Ontario has the lowest spending per capita in the, in the country. We are 15% below the national average and that has a real impact on our aging population and the care that they get and the ways we can address some of these the social determinants of health like racism and poverty and queer and transphobia, homelessness. And as a social worker, I know the mental health epidemic is real and you face that also every day. And we need to be creative, we need to be innovators. So thank you for being those innovators. So the Green Parties, we believe in good ratios and adequate pay equity across the spectrum of nursing because I want you to do what I always tried to do and I think everybody needs to do on the front lines is to put your mask on first. Um, we, we say that to other people, nurses sometimes are the worst at telling everybody else how to take care of themselves. But I hope this week uh, uh, during this AGM, you remember uh, that you need to put your, nurse, your mask on first. And as politicians, we are responsible to hearing from you what you need uh, in order to do that every day at work. And that's what we believe. And so yes, charge your batteries. That first opening was brilliant way to get us charging our batteries. And keep in touch about what you need to put your mask on first, take care of yourself, and ensure that uh, you keep that great voice. I love the voice and I appreciate that voice. You guys are experts at lobbying. Keep it up, it's working, but we can't stop. We need to keep persisting to be sure 
that when this election comes in a year, health care is a priority. Your voice will make that happen, and we will echo that in the Green Party, in the NDP Party, in the Liberal Party, in the PC Party. So please enjoy your AGM, and thank you so much for having us here today. Take care.